The Emperor's Grand Illusion Once upon a time, in a far-off kingdom filled with laughter and light, there lived an emperor who was famous for one thing above all, his love of clothes. The emperor adored fashion, and his closet was bursting with robes of every color, hats decorated with feathers and jewels, and shoes so shiny they sparkled in the sun. He spent hours each day admiring himself in the mirror, convinced that his clothes made him the grandest emperor in the world. One sunny morning, two mysterious men arrived in the kingdom, calling themselves magical tailors. They wore long cloaks and spoke in whispers, claiming they could weave the most extraordinary fabrics ever seen. But there was a catch. The fabrics, they said, were magical and could only be seen by those who were wise and worthy. Those who were foolish or unfit for their jobs wouldn't be able to see them at all. When word reached the emperor, he was thrilled. Imagine, he thought, a set of clothes that only the clever can see. I must have them to show my wisdom and impress my people. The emperor invited the tailors to his palace and gave them gold, jewels, and all the silk and thread they requested. The tailors set up their weaving machines, but instead of actually weaving, they pretended to work, their hands moving in the air as if they were creating something magical. After a few days, the emperor grew curious. He sent his most trusted advisor to check on the tailor's progress. The advisor entered the room and looked at the empty looms, but he saw nothing at all. His heart began to pound with worry. Oh no, does this mean I'm unworthy or foolish, he thought. Not wanting to look silly, he smiled and nodded, saying, What stunning colors! What beautiful patterns! The advisor returned to the emperor, describing the magnificent cloth in detail. The emperor, excited by the description, soon sent more people to inspect the fabric. Each one, fearing they would appear foolish, praised the invisible fabric, imagining colors and patterns in their minds. At last, the emperor decided it was time to see his new clothes himself. He entered the workshop and saw nothing. But rather than admit it, he thought, if everyone else can see it, I must be able to as well. So he clapped his hands in delight, saying, it's perfect. The most marvelous fabric I have ever seen. Finally, the day came for the emperor's grand reveal. The entire kingdom gathered in the square, eager to see the emperor's dazzling new clothes. The tailors helped the emperor dress, holding up invisible garments and describing each piece in detail. Here is your royal robe, light as air and more splendid than the stars, they proclaimed. The emperor stood proudly, pretending to wear a magnificent outfit, his heart pounding with excitement. With his head held high, the emperor stepped out in front of his people. Everyone stared, wide-eyed and uncertain, until they remembered the magic of the fabric. Not wanting to seem unworthy, they all began to cheer, shouting, How splendid! What elegance! The emperor's new clothes are magnificent. But amidst the cheers and whispers, a small voice suddenly rang out from the crowd. Wait! The emperor isn't wearing any clothes. It was a little child, his face filled with innocent confusion. He pointed and called out again. Look, he's wearing nothing at all. A hush fell over the crowd. People looked at each other, blinking in surprise. One by one, they began to realize the truth. The emperor's clothes were a trick, a clever illusion woven by the tailors. Laughter started to bubble up, soft at first, then louder and louder until the whole crowd was roaring with laughter. The emperor's face turned bright red. He looked down, realizing he had been fooled, and his heart sank with embarrassment. He hurried back into the palace, wrapping himself in a robe, his cheeks hot with shame. The two tailors, meanwhile, disappeared with all the gold and jewels they had tricked from the emperor, never to be seen again. Inside the palace, the emperor thought long and hard. He realized that he had let his vanity blind him and that he had cared too much about what others thought. The child's honesty had opened his eyes, and he felt humbled. From that day on, the emperor changed. He became a kinder, more thoughtful ruler, one who listened to his people and valued their well-being above his own pride. He gave away many of his fine clothes to those in need, keeping only a few simple robes for himself. And he made sure to always be honest and humble, knowing that true greatness didn't come from fancy clothes but from a good heart.
And so, the story of the emperor's grand illusion became a favorite tale in the kingdom, reminding everyone of the importance of honesty, humility, and seeing the truth, even when it's uncomfortable. The end.